friends I hope you are doing well so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to reduce noise from an image using GIMP so it's a trick that you can apply to um, get rid of the extra noises we end up getting uh, on the images especially when we use auto mode or different presets um, on your camera and we really good shoot in the darker environment that's when we end up getting some extra noises um, but the good thing is that some softwares um, and work will allow us to get rid of uh, these noises pretty fast um, and there is no exception with GIMP so here uh, we are we have got an image here let's have a close look uh, as you can see I took this picture maybe a few years ago using my phone uh, old iPhone and um, it still did pretty good I would say um, and as you can see it was in the evening somewhere in the market and uh, we have some noise here in the image so here uh, we can see how we can get rid of it uh, and can get better result so to do that we go to the filter menu here and from there enhance and then noise reduction okay now we can view the changes we can split and here you can adjust the strength of the noise let's say we want to make it 5 but you got to be careful you have to see uh, what, what you exactly need but remember when you apply these filters you lose some contrast so you have to um, work again we can bring the contrast back um, using other tools later but just keep it in mind that you lose some contrast uh, when you um, get rid of the noise from the image so if you close look as you can see uh, on the left part uh, we don't see that much of noise you can change the strength according to the according to your preference you can also adjust the opacity so just to get a more natural look uh, into that so let's say we keep the strength um, 4 4 and opacity or something like that and hit OK so uh, that's the result pretty much so now um, as you can see we have lost some uh, contrast here but we can always uh, bring it back um, by going to the contrast menu here and then you can increase the contrast sorry um, all right alternatively we can use high pass um, to get some contrast more naturally so to do that we first duplicate the layer and then um, we go to the filters menu from the enhance and then high pass so it tells the situation here um, as you can see it's pretty uh, okay um, but you can adjust the standard deviation and contrast value depending on your um, preference and the image you work on um, and hit OK and then change the mode from normal to soft light or overlay and let's have a close look so this is without high pass and this is with high pass as you can see it's a little more contrasty but again you get some sort of green and stuff so I just wanted to show you but I don't always recommend that you apply both of them together because it's difficult to produce a balanced result um, uh, in that way sometimes but if you spend time you always can end up with a good fix so friends I just wanted to show you the process I hope this tutorial will help you um, thanks for watching I will see you next time goodbye